You can control the reflection look and feel and its basic behavior by configuring the reflection workspace. When you do this with the customization tool, it automatically packages a workspace settings files into an MSI file. In this video, we'll change a couple of the default workspace settings. We'll modify the user data directory, and then we'll set the workspace to open in the reflection browser mode. To deploy workspace settings, you'll need an administrative installation point that you can deploy from, and a workstation you can use to create custom files. It's also a good idea to set up a shortcut on the workstation that opens a customization tool. We'll use a desktop shortcut we created earlier to open the tool. When the tool opens, we'll select Create a New Companion Installer so we can create an MSI file. When we select to modify workspace settings, this opens the same dialog box that you see when you open the workspace settings from the Reflection application. From this dialog box, you can configure Reflection's look and feel, how it behaves when it opens and closes, and other options. We'll change the user data directory to modify where user data is stored. Reflection doesn't allow users to access files that are not in trusted locations. So to use this folder, we're going to need to add it to the trusted locations list. Now if we look at the Trusted Locations list, we see that this folder has been added. Now we'll go to User Interface and change the User Interface mode to the Reflection Browser instead of the default Ribbon Interface. When we're finished, we go back to the Customization tool and we see that our Workspace Settings file has been added to the Common App Data Directory. Now we'll save our new MSI file on the administrative installation point. And when we deploy this file, it configures Reflection to use the data directory that we entered and to open in the browser mode. For more about this, see the Reflection Deployment Guide.